Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. I have come up with one more simplest logic building problem that is calculating the weight of string. So the problem is you are supposed to calculate the weight of the given input string with vowels being considered or ignoring the vowels in the given string based on the option given. So what you are supposed to do is you are supposed to calculate the weight of alphabetic characters in the string ignoring the uppercase or lowercase letters and white spaces are to be ignored while calculating the weight of this string. So you will be given two inputs in which input 1 is the string whose weight is to be calculated and input 2 is the option that specifies whether vowels to be considered or not while calculating the weight of the string. So if input 2 is 0 then vowels to be ignored. If input 2 is 1 then vowels to be considered while calculating the weight of the string. So here weight is nothing but the position of the alphabet in the sequence. Here I have taken four of the test cases. Let me explain with the first test case that is input 1 is hello world and input 2 is 0 which indicates vowels to be ignored. And the output that is to be returned is the weight with ignoring the vowels. So the output you got it 89 and the explanation you can find it beside. So H is 8th alphabet, E is a vowel so it is ignored that's why weight is calculated as 0. Next L is 12th alphabet that's why here 12 plus 12 and then O is vowel so that's why again its weight is to be ignored that's why 0 is added. And next W is 23rd alphabet and next O is again a vowel so its weight is to be ignored. R is 18th alphabet, next L is 12th alphabet and D is 4th alphabet. So if you just perform the sum of all these weights you get this 89. And in example 2 I have taken input 2 as 1 that is if vowels are also to be included in calculating the weight then its weight comes to 124. Similarly, you can try for example 3 and example 4 where I have taken the string as actions speak louder than words with vowels ignored and with vowels considered. So, these are the outputs you are supposed to generate. Let me quickly run through my code and show how easily you can implement this particular problem. So, this is my code. Let me first run through the test cases. So, let me copy this input from here. And first I am ignoring the vowels. So, you get 89. Now, let me consider the vowels for calculating the weight. So, there you can see 124. Similarly, let me take the larger string. So, with vowels ignored, the weight is 242. So, with vowels considered, the weight is 330. So, this is how simple you can implement it. So, as said in my previous videos also, you are not going to read any input in the placement exam. So, you should ignore these lines. You start writing from this line 8. So, i and j, loop purpose and for temporary variable purpose I have taken sum1 and sum2 in order to calculate the sum that is weight with vowels considered and without vowels being considered. And then in order to make the problem simplified, I am just converting the given string to the lower case and then this particular block is used to calculate the weights with 
vowels considered and without vowels considered. So I am just running the loop until the length of the string and this is just a temporary variable j. I am just extracting character one at a time and then I am considering if its ASCII value is within the range of 97 to 122 then I am just taking its position in the alphabet sequence and adding it to sub 1 and then whatever the characters that are vowels in the given string that weight separately I am calculating to sum 2. So if input 2 is 1 that is with vowels to be considered then I am just displaying sum 1. Otherwise I am supposed to minus the vowels weight that is why sum 1 minus sum 2. So in the placement exam you just replace this system.out.print by return statement and you get all the test cases pass. So this is what my solution to this particular problem of calculating weight of string with vowels considered and with vowels ignored and white spaces to be ignored always. I hope this code is already optimized and if anybody can further optimize it you can provide the optimized version in the comment section that will be helpful for others as well. You can check out the description box for more of placement related problems. I will come up with one more logic building problem in my next video. Thanks for watching.